Welcome back to the Spirited Shop. I am the Spirited Maker, and today we're going to make a bumblebee trap out of this piece of lumber and this used sports drink bottle. Stay tuned. We're also going to laser etch a design on it. Should be fun. All right, let's fire up the old CAD here and show you how this is going to work. You're going to cut off a, let's say, six inch length of this board. And we're going to drill a hole right down the middle. And then we're going to drill some 45 degree holes that meet up with that middle hole. This is where the bees will come in and the top we will plug off with a half inch dowel and give us something to hang it from. And on the bottom we will attach the bottle. So what happens is the bumblebees go in the hole and they look, get to this point and they see that light coming down and they will try to get out here and get stuck in the bottle because when they look up it'll be dark and they won't think that's a way to escape. So the bees get trapped in the bottle which you can then remove and do whatever you want with the bee carcasses. <laughs> Whether they're alive or not up to you but let's get cracking we're gonna cut off a six inch slab and uh i got some other thing like i said i'm gonna laser etch a design on it make it look nice on to step two okay i've marked off a six inch section of this slab of wood and we won't have to be perfect because, you know, the bees. I don't think the bees are going to mind. You likely can't make it with the Seven and a half inch blade. That will become the base. Really, the, the whole top of the bee catcher. Next, we need to drill some holes. But we might do the laser etching next. Let's give that a try. All right, quickly here in light burn. This is the B image that I am going to burn onto the B trap. Let's fire it up. All right, we got it set up. We're going to laser etch the B on this. It'll take a few minutes, so we'll speed it up. There we have it, our cute little bee etched quickly with a laser. Now we have to drill some holes for the bubble bees to 
and get themselves into trouble. That's next. All right. We are going to just drill these holes manually. I don't want this one to go all the way through. So I will be stopping probably there. have our center hole drilled. We need a couple of 45s. Let's see if we can get this started. Make sure I went through. Yep. Perfect. Let's give one on this side. Oh, right through. So, holes drilled, bees go in there, come out here. Going to have to attach the bottle top. That way you can just screw and unscrew. So, I am going to smooth this edge. I did already smooth these edges, which I didn't get to record. So I'll, sh I'll record these. So then we'll attach this and we'll be pretty much done other than finding a way to hang it. At the route table, let's just uh, round over these edges. So, for the lid, I am just going to glue it on, probably put a, a tiny nail or two just to keep it attached, nothing fancy. Well, if I can get glue out, there we go. Wood glue for the carpenter bees, also known as bumblebees. So, let's let that sit and we'll be pretty much done. Now, let's figure something, to, some way to hang it. Maybe just a hook or eye hook or something. I'm not sure. Let me see what I got. Alright, I have the cap secured. We do need to open the hole up though, so... There we go. Now there is a place for the bees to get in. And they will be stuck in the bottle, and you can then remove it, clean it, whatever. One last thing to do, I'm going to install a little hook so we can hang it from different locations. Put them near wherever the bees are, and right now there are a ton of them outside, so. There we go. 
That is it. Little bumblebee trap. Let's uh zoom back a little. And there we go. I'm gonna go hang it out. And let's see if we catch any bumblebees tonight. And over the next day. And there we go. Simple. And hopefully effective. So we'll find out. Anyway, thank you for uh, watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I am thankful for your time. And as always, friends, God bless. And I'll see you next time.